What do you have for me, Stor? We receive a message from a nearby station. The end is upon us. The metal demons have come to absorb your very being. But it's not too late to prepare for the worst. It appears that was an advertisement for a space dock, and we scan their products. Okay. Uh, so it's only one page. Um, that's a nice weapon. That's a very nice weapon. The halberd is pretty nice, too. Lots of nice things. Destruction buoys. Um, those are very nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh... Hmm. Not nice enough that I would really care too much, but it would allow me to explore a little bit better. Question is, do I want to buy this or do I want to buy that? This, that, this, that, that. I want weapons. Weapons, damn it. All right, so uh, my next level of stuff was going to go into here, and uh, then I will be able to... Um, power up this burst laser along with the chain laser which will be nice the burst laser is definitely not quite as good oh yeah I forgot I did indeed forget that we had things worth selling lovely well now we've got plenty for a distraction buoy but do I want it because I need that extra layer of weapons right now if I'm going to even use the new thing. And I would prefer that, in all honesty. Whoops. What else I would like from here, though, is uh, all of that. There. Pretty much uh, filled up on stuff. Now we have uh, at least this. Uh, we could power down anything. Except for our O2, I don't really want to do that. Um, to be able to have that next layer of power, just so we can get the burst laser going. That's uh, that's a pretty nice little setup. It's not as good as everything that I can do, but it is uh, certainly a good change. Yeah. I think we are going to, at the very least, power that up first. This is a nice weapon and all, but uh, damage rules out for the most part, unless we've got something that has many, many, many shields and we need other things. But for now, it doesn't matter. Yeah, these guys are going to start coming after us. Um, this gets me more view, so let's go over here. What do we have here? We detect a damaged vessel docked with the jump beacon. It appears the Lanias are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. We can send them 30 scrap. We can ask if they require assistance. We can use our Lanias crew to ask if they require Let's ask if they require assistance with the Lanias. We don't have any scrap though, so this might not be good. Let's see here. After a time, we are told that they were damaged and unable to repair their ship due to lack of metal. They offer us to exchange a piece of their ship's equipment for some scrap or other useful materials. Well, we're not using missiles, so have it. A defense scrambler, eh? I'm gonna have to look at that thing. We release the material out of the airlock and the Linnaeus quickly collect it and start melting it down. They're grateful for our assistance and send over a ship augmentation. What exactly is this? Prevents the enemy defense drones from targeting anything. Holy crap, that's awesome! <laughs> that is such an awesome thing. I don't need it, but that is great. That is a very, very helpful item. I will probably hang on to that for a while. Let's head out this way, because they're starting to gain on me. Well, hello! <laughs> Alright, um, we arrive at the beacon and discover a civilian ship fleeing from a lone Lanius craft. Lanius craft? I, I don't know even how you're supposed to pronounce that. Maybe someone in the comments can say, It's pronounced like this, and then they're gonna 
probably not even know how it's actually pronounced. <laughs> anyway, uh, the civilian messages us. Help, the metal monsters are coming to melt down our ship. Strangely, uh, no active weapon signatures are detected. Hmm. Let's try to contact them and uh, see what's going on. Our crew member opens a channel with them, and it seems they are scouting for a merchant's guild, which is seeking to establish connections with other sentient races. We suggest that they invest research time into developing better, better translators, and ask if they are selling anything at the moment. Well, that's nice that they're selling stuff, but I can't really do anything. A life form scanner, that's neat. That's really neat. Um... I don't want either of these things anyway, and I don't have any money to do anything, so sadly, that is useless. Interesting uh, little encounters here, but pretty useless to me so far. Scans show no signs of any ships or settlements nearby. We have no way of knowing if the area was always uninhabited, or if it's simply erased by the Linnaeus. Well, it looks like that store stays there, so that's always uh, something I could go back to if I got any scrap, but um, other than getting drone parts, I don't think there's any reason that I would want to go back there. Um, let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's go up here. I'm starting to run out of fuel, so that's kind of bad we have here? A Federation science craft is docked with a few Lanius ships, or Lanius ships. Uh, we hail them and ask, what's going on? Greetings, we have been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius, although we have been making little headway in deciphering their language. We can uh, offer to copy our translator's data to uh, the suite, our data suite. Maybe they'll give us something. Our Lanius crew had tweaked the ship's translator to slowly improve itself over time. The data collected from our interactions with the Lanius could be very helpful to these scientists. And they gave us an ion bomb. They're grateful for our contribution and offer us some Lanius equipment that they were previously studying. That's not Lanius equipment. That's just regular equipment. Well, an ion bomb is a really nice item. Uh, sadly, I've been giving away my stuff. Oh, hey, store, really, really far away. Um, I don't have the ability to do anything with that because I have no scrap. Well, I guess I could sell stuff, but then I would have to go straight back here. It's not worth it. Not worth it. We could give them a fuel. But we don't have any fuel, so we have to apologize and continue on. I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't have it. Oh, this isn't good. We're going to run out of fuel before we get uh, to the next sector. So this is very bad. Uh, this is interesting. Speaking appears to have been set up to within an asteroid field to access a mining settlement. However, half of the settlement has been disassembled by a number of Lanius scavengers. Their military escort moves in to scare us off. Holy crap! Well, that's the larger version. These guys are definitely going to be capable of doing damage to us. Um... Well, we're just gonna have to charge up. And hope we do it before they do. Alright, at the very least our burst laser is going to get up here. We need to wait for them to at least be hit by an asteroid or something. Oh boy. We're going to get hit by an asteroid at this rate. Uh-oh. Well, that's shooting. They are going to end up doing some damage. Oh, no, never mind. We got lucky. So we have the ability to hit them now. Just go with both of these. Nice! That was perfect timing with that asteroid there. Quite perfect timing. 
Now these two should probably match in uh, how fast they're charging-ish. Since we got the chain going. They are trying to get away. Let's see here, they would like to offer us missiles and scrap. Hmm. We could use the fuel, so let's take it. Ah, you bastards. Getting in that one last shot. All right, well, let's see if uh, this gets me a point of skill. I think it uh, should, possibly. Meteors? Meteors. Okay, never mind. I don't even care. That's taking way too long. Um, well, now we have the ability to move around a bit, so I'm going to hit one more of these things before we go to the exit. What do we have? A merchant ship is docked with a Lanius transport. We message them to see if they need any help. It turns out they have been studying the Lanius' ability to reshape metal. Let's uh, inquire about the process. They respond, we haven't the foggiest idea how it works. They appear to meld part of their bodies into the metal and reshape it. They have been willing to demonstrate their ability if you have some extra metal um, that you would like to be converted into something. Uh, we could offer to help in the process. Our crew member offers to aid in the process and speed it along. They think it can be performed uh, a bit more efficiently with the extra help and a little less scrap. Well, that's sad, because I don't have any scrap. Thanks for the information, but I can't do anything with that. Well, it's neat learning about the Lanius and their metal abilities, because that was not uh, anywhere in the fact that they drain oxygen. As we arrive in the system, we are held by a loyalist settlement who uh, gives us stuff. That's awesome. Uh, it's too bad we probably couldn't go. Yeah, we have no way of going back now. All right, we have two slug-controlled nebulas. However, neither of them are particularly helpful because they are not um, the level of slug-controlled nebula that I want whatsoever that's kind of sad damn all right um i kind of want to go after hostile sectors and nebulas at this point because i don't think i'm going to manage to get uh what i would like to get from any of this stuff uh, well i actually know that i'm not going to so we're gonna go up here to hope for the best. Uh, we definitely need oxygen levels after this. The slugs have developed on an ocean planet where the ability to telepathically sense another organism was more important than sight. Today, they use this ability to navigate unfettered in the depths of nebulas they inhabit. Okay. Well, uh, first things first. Need it. Need it badly. Of course, there's a store right there. Um, well, we can we can kind of zip around here and see if we can get enough for that store to be useful. The Mantis attack ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up. Holy crap. Um, yeah, using. Using right now. No, oh, thank you. Okay, that I don't care about firing. Not important at all. Uh, okay. Turn that down a bit. And we will hit with both. <laughs> no. Not what I wanted at all. Well, we're going to take some damage, unless we can somehow manage to avoid this. Um, let's turn that on for the moment. I 
I love this music. This is awesome. This is definitely new. I didn't miss. I'm sad. Whatever. At least it didn't hit an actual system, so it wasn't very important. Alright, at the very least, that took the bigger weapon down. However, this is going to end up firing before we manage to get things going. That's an ion one? Okay, I don't really care so much about that anymore. Target the shields! Take them down! Um, I don't care about any of these things. At the moment, let's just wait for our stuff to boost up and, uh, start whittling away their shield some more. Yeah, you hit that shield, I don't care. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Not one bit. Just automatically have this go, and, uh, I didn't even need to do that because they were dead. <laughs> ah, drone part. Fantastic. Alright, well, we're starting to build a little bit of scrap. I'm going to need much more scrap for it to be particularly viable. Let's see here. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula. Before we have blah blah blah, let's try to follow them. Search is hopeless. Well, that sucks. Let's hope this store has something fantastic that I can get. Let's see here. We are immediately hailed by a dangerous-looking ship guarding a station. I'm feeling generous today. I shall allow you to choose your own death. Which do you like the least? Shields, oxygen, or weapons? Let's attempt a counter-hack. All right. Silence won't protect you. I'll make the choice myself. Wait, why isn't this working? Our transmission cuts out and we move into attack. They don't even have a hacking system. I call bullshit. How are they hacking if they don't have a hacking system? All right, so our hacking system is down. Their hacking system is down. We have hacked the hack out of the hack. And uh, they are now going to have their weapons fully operational, which is kind of sucky, but... Um, hopefully we will be able to do some damage quickly to them. Three shots may make it through. Yes, it did. Alright, let's try taking down their shields first, please. That uh, didn't quite work the way I was hoping. That's probably going to end up getting repaired pretty quickly. Yep. Ah! You little bastard. I wish I had a shield overdrive or something. That would be cool. If they even exist. Hmm. You know what? Turn that off. Turn this baby on. I am going to take that thing down one way or another. It's gonna happen. That, uh, that takes quite a while to charge. I wasn't quite thinking about how slow that would be. Alright. Get it on down. Come on. Jesus. Taking some serious damage here. You know, I can charge this baby up too. Wasn't even thinking about that. Silly, 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 silly me. Nice. Really nice, guys. Could you aim the weapons a little bit better? That would be cool. Oi. 